Hey, it's another fabulous sunny Sunday morning in the springtime here at Tiny House and Off Grid Resources. And today I'm working on something that I've wanted to show you guys for a long time now, but it's not quite finished. So this is just a little teaser to show you my stealth solar system. This is a solar system that you can fold up and put away when you're not using it. Which means if you've bought some land somewhere and you're not quite ready to move in permanently and provide the level of security that you know you're going to need, you don't have to leave an unattended solar system on your roof where it could get stolen. Or you do, maybe perhaps you don't want people to know that you've got an alternative power source. That means that this can be put away when you're away. Another thing that this device can do is you can wheel it around and take it with you to any job where you need AC electricity for your power tools. Now with a lot of the projects that I do, the things that I make are already available. I could be the consumer and just go out and buy these things, but what I always try to do is look at the best available on the market and then try and improve it some. I could have gone out and bought a Jackery or one of those other brands of solar power station, but I wanted the pleasure of knowing that I'd built it myself and that I'd slightly improved on what was already available. How have I already improved on what's available? Well, inside here, as well as having the usual facilities to charge your devices with a 5 volt USB and power high drain devices with the choice of either the um, inverter on the back which provides AC power or the regulated and relayed 12 volt high drain system um, where I could run anything that is a, a 12 volt high drain accessory like uh, the four-wheel drive air pumps, the four-wheel drive compressors that are 12 volt powered for pumping up four-wheel drive tires. They will really suck the power. This will handle that with ease. But the other trick that this thing's got up its sleeve is that it's not just a lithium battery. On top of the lithium battery, I've got a brick of supercapacitors. These behave a little like a battery without being a battery. What they do is they discharge very readily. They'll allow anything that's high drain to drain from this very quickly. That means that the batteries aren't being punished. It also means that this charges very quickly. So many times throughout the day, while these panels are in the sunshine, this can charge and discharge, and it will handle all of the running of my heavy drain power tools. Then in the evening, when I go back inside the cabin, the lithium battery in the bottom, although it's only 33 amp hours, it's still going to allow me to run my computer, run a string of lights, charge up the phone, and all those little things that you'd expect one of these to do anyway. And did I save any money? Maybe only a little in the actual cash outlay. I will say that I spent days and days designing it, and evenings and evenings of doing research to find the best parts to make it from. So, it's an exercise. It's not a, not a money-making venture. It's a bit of fun, I've learned an awful lot from it, and I end up with the pleasure of knowing that I built it myself. Tiny House and Off Grid Resources now has over 100,000 subscribers. That's 100,000 people just like you who want to find out the latest and the best ways of doing things for yourself, saving a few bucks, and generally looking after the planet by recycling, repurposing, rebuilding, rather than nipping down to the shops and just buying a new one. So, click on the icon, ring the bell, and stay tuned for more interesting, exciting, and informative videos from me at Tiny House and Off-Grid Resources.